But now it's time to celebrate the Crimson Tide of Alabama. Let's bring in the head coach. Nick Saban still coaching. He's still orchestrating his team, trying to get the right people on the stage. Nick, if you could please come up. We'll talk to you in a moment, but first of all, Bill Hancock, who is the commissioner of the BCS, and we first would like to say thank you from Allstate for putting on another terrific national championship game. Would like to present you with the coach's trophy presented by Dr. Pepper. Thank you, John. Coach, first of all, on behalf of the conferences and institutions that manage the BCS, I want to congratulate both of these fine teams for the record tonight and all during the season. And now it's my honor to present, on behalf of the American Football Coaches Association, the Coaches Trophy presented by Dr. Pepper to Coach Nick Saban and the Alabama Crimson Tide. of the trophy, so I'm going to get a piece of you right now first. You're the first coach in BCS history to win three of these titles, to lift that trophy three times. I know what that must mean to you, and I know you'd rather talk about what it means to your players, but I saw a piece we did with you on ESPN about your dad, and about him passing away when you were a young coach. If you can, talk for a moment about what it would mean to your father right now to know that his young son has won three national championships. Well, I, I think my father would be proud of the players. That's what I think. And, you know, and all of our fans, our administration at the University of Alabama, Dr. Witt, uh, Mal Moore, uh, every player who worked so hard, made a commitment and bought in, our great fans who have supported us all year long, I mean, that, that's what my dad would feel great about. And that's what I feel great about. All the players who put so much into this to have a chance. And the way they responded to terrible pain and disappointment the first time we lost to a very, very good LSU team. And I'd like to congratulate them on a great year that they had. But I'm so happy and proud for our players, our folks, the people in our community who have been through so much with the tornado. I hope this lifts their spirits and give them hope for a successful future. LSU had been prepared for what every team threw at them all season long. They were able to adjust in the second half of the SEC championship game. What was it that your team prepared that they were not prepared for tonight? Well, I, I, we didn't really do a lot different. I think we did some things on offense formationally. Jim McElwain did a great job. Our offensive team did a great job. Defensively, we didn't do anything different. We just played well, played the blocks. They had a tough time running the ball. And our special teams did an outstanding job. Now, we did some different things on special teams, and the big punt return was one of those things. And throwing the ball on first down, wouldn't you say that was different? Well, we do that a lot anyway, yeah. but we knew we had to do it, and A.J. did a great job. Our receivers did a great job. We had good protection for the most part. All right, Coach, I'd like to say congratulations again on a third, the first gentleman ever to win a third BCS National Championship. 